morning youtubers welcome to one of my videos today is monday the 30th of march and um we came down this morning for breakfast pool of water here and um it looks like there's a leak now i'm not sure where it's coming from so we've removed the fridge and shoved it here in the kitchen just here and we do have a dishwasher in this house and so the dishwasher is there and the washing machine is here can't work out where the water's coming from and I can't see any water at the moment but what I did notice on the washing machine there was a small hole or cut in the rubber seal around here so what I've done I've used a bicycle repair patch and the um, rubber solution stuff I'm holding that together and uh, I've took the front off here this is the drain pipe for the pump and I'm just checking around the pump and uh, under here we've got two inlets one for the dishwasher one for the washing machine two outlets with one u-bend and it was quite wet and it was running right under here but luckily it's tiled still a bit untidy under there but it's not too bad and uh, I never did tidy the tiling I did up years and years and years ago so at the moment the fridge will normally sit here then it'll be the dishwasher and then it'll be the washing machine and they'll fit under this old work surface which is a bit of a mess at the moment and uh, so separated the two machines so they're not side by side so we can use them and as I said earlier remove the fridge just there for the time being sitting in the middle of the kitchen and then when we use these next time I'll be able to check if the water is coming from here if it's leaking when it's working or it's coming from here so that's where we are and um, just been for a walk around the block as part of the fitness and it just threw it down so we've got rain jackets soaked hats soaked trousers soaked so not been a good start to the day this is the repair patch i put into the washing machine there you can see it there's a bicycle repair patch I'm not sure this is the leak but this has done a good job really pleased with that yeah but the tree shortly after the washing machine or whatever's leaking in the utility room we also found out that the kettle is leaking you can see it here the mark and it's dripping out the bottom oh of course it's one of those days you can see it's been leaking a while we, we had a wet surface wet surface and we don't really know where it was coming from and um, now we know the kettle is leaking you can see it's been leaking a while so I don't think I'm going to repair that that's, that's um, no point really I think we'll go and buy a new one when we go shopping but until we do we'll just keep using it um, probably in a two or three days time we'll need to go shopping for some food so we thought if we go somewhere like Tesco's they sell kettles as well we'll probably get a new one one of those days well here we have another problem and the problem's been the heating has been coming on and off at strange times 
about the middle of the night and I thought, oh, what's going on? This is the third thing we had in the house. So there's been the leak from the washing machine or the dishwasher, there's been the kettle that's leaking and now it's the heating. Anyway, I had a close look at the timer and I think this one's self-inflicted problem. The boiler's coming on now by the way, I can hear it ticking away. Um, the reason why it's it's eight o'clock in the morning and it's saying p.m. so when i ch changed the clocks i must have got it wrong and upset the timer so that's my problem oh well just been watching a bit of uh, youtube and um, i've been tagged by paul glover so i've got to answer 10 questions to do with van life and um, i'll get to do that um, maybe today later today or tomorrow one of the problems I've got this morning is I've got to go and get some shopping but it's not shopping just for me it's for my mother as well my mother sent uh, well she gave me a list over the phone uh, I don't think she really realizes I shouldn't really travel I've got to drive 50 mile round trip to deliver food for her because uh, she's 93 She's got a broken arm, she's got two broken ribs in her back, I think it is. A, uh, home help is not going to come in now. person who helps with a garden is not coming in now. And neighbours uh, normally do some shopping for it. They're also elderly, so they're confined. Um, I don't know whether the government's going to deliver food, but, you know, I've got to drive to the supermarket. I don't mind doing it, it's just I'm pretty sure I'm going to get stopped by the police. They're going to say, what on earth are you doing driving this distance to take food? Um, but I'm going to have to do it. She needs food. And, uh, yeah. She normally has food from Iceland, but to be honest, I went in Iceland in, in Corby where we live, and um, it's such a small shop, you, you, you're almost touching shoulders. So I don't really want to go in there. Plus, they're prioritising on NHS workers and things like that. So we'll just see how it goes. So thanks for watching so far. Please subscribe. And uh, I'll add to this video how we get on with the shopping. This is our fridge, by the way. This is all the milk we have. Orange juice. We've got one of these salami sausages, a bit of a lettuce, some grapes, coleslaw, a couple of bits of bacon, some Greek yogurt, a bit of cheese, cucumber. So we've got to do some shopping. Not good. Just been shopping in Lidl and um, we've got a few things but I've got to do some more shopping for my mother and uh, I'm going to try Morrison's, see what they've got. Especially these microwave meals she wants cause, um, because of a broken arm or one thing or another. Let's hope we're lucky here. Well I was able to get some stuff, these microwave meals. These look really good actually. And uh, got some spare ones. Got some crisps and some donuts, a couple of bars of chocolate as well. So that should keep going for a bit. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.